the top commander of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, has praised Iran's military capabilities and cutting-edge defense technology, saying the country has become a trailblazer in the field of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh, the commander of the IRGC's Aerospace Division, said in a Tuesday ceremony on the anniversary of Iraq's imposed war on Iran in the 1980s that the Islamic Republic has become more than a regional power. Iran is at a world level in the field of drones and has become a trailblazer in the field of techniques and tactics Hajizadeh said, stressing that many world countries use Iran's expertise as a model in manufacturing drones. Today, we use drones not only for reconnaissance, surveillance, combat and defense missions, but we can use them for dozens of missions, the IRGC commander added. Hajizada also pointed to Iraq's foreign-backed war against Iran in the 1980s and hailed the resistance of the Iranian nation. About 30 countries stood up to us to destroy this Islamic establishment and disintegrate Iran, but thanks to God's grace and the nation's resistance, we not only overcame their war machine, but we did not lose a single square meter of our homeland and imposed our will on them he asserted. Iraq waged the war against Iran more than one and a half years after the victory of the 1979 Islamic Revolution, which toppled the US-backed Pahlavi regime. The eight-year Iranian defense set up the foundation for the emergence of Islamic resistance in West Asia. Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations. A month ago, the chief of staff of the Iranian Armed Forces says demand for the purchase of Iran's homegrown sophisticated drones is much greater than the country's production. Speaking at a Monday conference in the capital Tehran on the role of the sacred defense against the ex-Iraqi regime's eight-year war on Iran and national security, the high-ranking general highlighted Iran's dramatic progress in the defense industry. Today, the number of customers of our drones are several times more than our production capacity Major General Bakari said, adding that major world powers are vying to purchase Iranian weapons. He also pointed out that once the Islamic Republic was banned from purchasing foreign-made weapons, but now it is faced with bans on the export of its domestically developed military products. Iran has turned into a big drone power that is outperforming major world powers, the commander added. Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient.
Iranian officials have declared that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has repeatedly called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities. On Wednesday, the commander of the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force says a homemade drone has successfully carried out the first aerial combat mission, involving the targeting of another drone with missiles. A drone targeted another drone with a missile in an aerial combat mission, which has been done for the first time in the country, and we managed to destroy the targeted drone," said Brigadier General Alariza Sabahi Fard on Wednesday. Sabahi Fard said the successful operation had been carried out during the ongoing drone drills being held in seven border provinces by four divisions of the Iranian army. He described aerial combats between unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, as a rare and complicated operation, adding that only a couple of countries in the world have the ability to carry out such mission. Iran has been the first to show off its capability in this regard, according to the commander. We in the Islamic Republic of Iran Armed Forces displayed this potential to the world to declare that we were able to carry out one of the most complicated aerial operations in the world, while facing the maximum cruel and unjust sanctions imposed against the Islamic Iranian nation, said the general. Iran has expanded its fleet of home made UAVs in recent years in a bid to increase its defense capabilities and to boost its military deterrence.